Hello friends, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel today. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Um, today I have decided to start showing you guys my haul video, but I'm going to break it up a little bit. Um, I'm breaking it up. Um, first, uh, the first, uh, like I have a lot of stuff because I haven't shown hauls or anything like that since before December. And so I'm going to show you, um, what I got from, um, other people, uh, in December as gifts and, um, in this video and in the next video, um, I am going to show you all the supplies that I have gotten between, um, December through February. And then, uh, the last one will be the books. Uh, the coloring books just in case um, something gets released and I didn't realize it and I have to have it or something but I think I'm okay <laughs> uh, but yeah uh, these are just the things that I got kind of during Christmas time that were uh, given to me by either um, subscribers fellow colorists or companies um, the first thing I'm going to show you is I got this set of a grabby uh, 12 watercolors. Sorry, it's a little dusty. Um, and this is a travel set, and I promised I would do a review on these. And currently, I haven't done one yet, just because I'm experiencing really bad hand pain all through this area. I normally wear compression glove, but I didn't for this video. Uh, so I'm just going to try to be really careful with my hand. But... Um, uh, once my hand starts feeling better, I mean, I can't grip anything. It's really hard to color. So I'm going to do my best to do this video when my hand starts feeling better to review these because I want to actually use them in a coloring book on the channel for you guys so we see what happens when we use this kind of stuff in a coloring book. So this is the Grabby um, 12 watercolor um, travel set. So... They sent this to me around Christmas time. Um, I did get, let me just make sure. So I did get a fun little package from a subscriber. Her name is Amy during Christmas time. And she made me this. So um, it is, it's like holiday cards that she's made into um, a junk journal. And, um, there's like little inside hands outs and you can write different things and she's put Christmas paper in it and it's just a little, just a little type of journal and like there's a little ornament thing in there. So you can, um, treat this like, um, just, a a little card junk journal thing and there's even calendar stickers in the back. So you could use those. I might take these out and put them in my coloring journal. And then I will stick this in with my uh, Christmas journals. So I want to thank Amy for this very creative, very thoughtful gift. She, um, I'm guessing she made this herself. And that was very sweet and very creative. How to use a, basically to use a card to create a junk journal. Well, I don't like to use the word junk journal, but altered journal. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is I received some panda love. So I have four little panda notebooks and some panda stickers. This is a vinyl sticker. And I think this was the card. Yeah, I just want to make sure. And this was the card that came with it. So I got all this panda love. And I got this beautiful card. And this stuff was uh, gifted to me by Kathy from uh, Spicy Cat Colors. She's so sweet. And she knows that I love pandas. And we don't have this stuff like at our dollar store or anything. And I just absolutely love this and let me I opened one of these so you guys could see what this these little notebooks look like they're all the same they just have different covers but um they're just little little tiny notebooks and I I love this idea 
they're just so cute. I'm not sure what I want to use these for, but I love them. I think they're absolutely adorable. And these cute little pandas are adorable as well. My daughter goes, can I have one of those panda notebooks? I said, well, maybe. I have to show them on my channel first and thank Kathy. So, Kathy, thank you for these lovely panda love for Christmas. Um, I love it. Um, let me see what I have next here. No. I received a beautiful card that says Joy to the World, and this is from Judith. Um, I'm not going to open it up to show you what's inside, but it had stickers in it, and it's from American Greetings. And so that was a really fun card that I received. And I also received this card. It's very sparkly. It has a snowman on it, and this one's from... This one's from Ashley, from Ashley's Coloring Journey. Me and Ashley have been friends for quite a while, and she's so thoughtful to send me a Christmas card. I actually, during Christmas time, I every Christmas card I get in the mail, I actually display them on the back of my front door. Uh, this is a tradition that my grandma did. Every Christmas card she'd get in the mail, she'd put on the back of her front door and by Christmas time her whole front door would be covered in Christmas cards and I just loved it as a kid so I carried on the tradition in my house and it's just so much fun to see all the different Christmas cards that you get during Christmas time and now um, I put these in my uh, Christmas altered composition book I put my Christmas cards that I received from people in there um, let's see, what is this one? No, that's not, <laughs> that was a different one. Oh, I received another card from Kathy. This one came before the Christmas stuff, and this is just a, a thank you card that she made, and it was like a thank you for buddy coloring with me type of card, and she's so thoughtful, and she's so creative. Look how pretty. Just wanted to share how pretty that is. So that was from Kathy. Um, this one was from my sister. She just said, um, basically Merry Christmas to my sister and her husband. And she wrote some things inside. So that one was very pretty and nice and thick. It has kind of like a shimmer. I like to kind of keep the cards. Um, the next one I have is a Merry Christmas one. It has a Christmas tree on it. And this is from Joyce, and Joyce actually sent me some books as well. So, first book she sent me is this one, My Secret Bookish Life, and I do not have this book, which is awesome, so um, I'm excited for it. I've seen it on other channels, and every um, page there are books, or someone is reading, and it is a very cool book. And uh, the characters in it kind of remind me of anime a little. And I w am excited to color in this book. So there's this one. She also sent me this. The Hans Christensen Anderson Fairy Tale Stained Glass Coloring Book. And I love fairy tale books. And since this is stained glass, you can color it. And you could take them out and put them in your window. But um, I... Sometimes I just keep them in there, but um, I'm trying to hold it up so you guys can see. So this is like the Ugly Duckling. Just kind of show you roughly what's inside here. So you can see the images when I hold it up. And this is um, made on a vellum type of piece of paper. And so it, it reacts differently to your media. Um, I think it's really cool. I, I have a few of these stained glass coloring books and they're really fun to collect and color in. So I want to thank her for sending that to me. And then the final one she sent to me was this one, which is a vintage Christmas gnomes. And I love gnomes. And this is a grayscale coloring book. And I've never seen this book before, so I was excited um, to get this. And it has this kind of um, 
grayscale effect and I'm eager to color one to see how I can get it to come out and they remind me of like I was gonna say vintage but I think that's in the title yeah they remind me of things that remind me of movies and things like that old school and their faces and and it's a different kind of grayscale. It doesn't have a hard line. So this can be difficult sometimes to color. But um, I have different approaches with this kind of grayscale. And I'm eager to try it out. So, yeah. So I want to thank her so much for her generosity. And sending me these books and this beautiful Christmas card. And she sent me a little message here. So, Joyce, thank you so much for thinking of me and my family this holiday season. The next two books um, I received from Ashley, from Ashley's Coloring Journey. She sent them to me off my, I think, yeah, off my wish list. Um, so, she sent me this one, which is Fairlanda, Fair. Fairland, Landia, <laughs> by, Gr yeah, Gildren Hall, I guess, and um, so I, I, I saw this and I put it on my wish list because I thought it was kind of unique. Um, I do believe that some of these images are AI, but I'm not sure. Um, I've seen people color in this and they do a beautiful job. Um, I'm eager to try and see what comes out and how it looks and everything, you know. I'm just looking at these pages. Yeah. Kind of fun. Be fun to add some color to. A little indoor scene like that. That's fun. So there's this one. And then she also sent me this one, Celebrate the Seasons, from Deborah Muller. And I know uh, in her Deborah Muller's Facebook group, they're coloring this year. We're coloring this for the all year. And I haven't started because I wanted to share this uh, on a haul video, so to speak. Um, this one's kind of unique. So it has images, but it also has like color palette and notes per image. So if you have specific colors in mind, or if you use certain medias, you can write it all down. And I think the girls in here are adorable. I like her with the braids like that. That's really cute with the ducklings. And um, it says the month as well. Like see, February, I could go to this and I could color the February ones. So that is Celebrate the Seasons by Deborah Muller. Um, I was part of a Christmas box exchange. I did film that and it's on the channel. And I was gifted some books during that exchange. And these are the books that I received in the exchange. Um, and this is Norman Rockwell Classics, the Saturday Evening Post coloring book which is a very unique book. I do like the artwork a lot. Um, so these are all images by uh, Norman Rockwell. So, yeah. Sometimes I'll get a Norman Rockwell calendar. My pharmacy gives them to us for free. Look at that one. <laughs> uh, Doggy. So there's that one. And then I also received this one, which is Little Christmas Town by Coloring Book Cafe. And this one has Christmas images, of course. I, I do like all the ones with the little kids and there's a little puppy. Well, something about it reminds me of Vintage Christmas. And they're not heavy on the line work. But that also means you have creative liberty to express more. Um, it would 
actually be fun to take oil pastels to one of these pages because you can create more color variations because of less line work. So, yeah. I may not be able to color in this until next Christmas, but I do love this book. It's very pretty. And then the last one was this one that was on my wish list, and it's Jewels of the Orient Coloring Book by Heather Valentin. And let's skip over the extras. So these are like little Asian girls and Kokiyoshi type of style. And I love Heather Valentin's work. I collect her books. And I think this is adorable. So there's that one. <clears throat> The next two books I received from my dear friend Sarah from Chronic Coloring Down Under. Um, I haven't spoken to Sarah for a long time. I hope she is doing okay and feeling all right. Um, she sent me some books from a book depository because she wanted to give me something for Christmas. And um, it was so kind of her. Uh, she sent me this one. Um, don't ask me the title. I do not know. So this is what it looks like. And all you could see on Book Depository was the cover. So I was unsure, and she was unsure what would be inside. So um, both of us said, uh, hey, let's try this book and see if you like it type of a thing. And um, yeah, so it has like fashion in it. Um, there's some Russian dolls different like countries it has really good paper in it I guess it's not what I thought it was going to be but um, at the same time I can appreciate it for what it is because it has food from diff these different places and then buildings and stuff and it says marionettes these different buildings, musical instruments. So it's like you're traveling through Europe, I think, is what I gather from this. She's pretty. Look at all those masks. Oktoberfest. Yeah, it's a very unique book. So um, I want to thank Sarah for sending this to me. She also was very generous and bought me this book and I haven't even opened it. She did share it on her channel and this is a watercolor book, a watercolor and colored pencil coloring book and it's called Which Color Do You Like? And I want to be able to show you guys what's inside it so I'm going to try to, <laughs> with my hand, I'm going to try to open this. I'm not very good at um, my left hand but I'm going to do my best to open this without a grip in my right because <laughs> I want you guys to be able to see the images in it. <clears throat> I basically kept the plastic on it so it wouldn't get dusty because I knew it would be a while since I could film and um, it's a hardbound book and it has images like this. So you have the colored image over here and then you have the image right here, similar to a Paul's books. And um, I had seen a flip of this before and you get two copies of this, these images. And I absolutely love the style. It's just very cutesy. And I would love to watercolor one and maybe take my hand on pencils on the other just to see what I think, because this is really thick, nice watercolor paper. And yeah, I, I want to thank her so much. Absolutely stunning, stunning book. Little Harry Potter looking character. Look how cute. And then it's also perforated, so say you do color this and um, uh, you do watercolor this, you could take it out, and then you could keep this image inside. 
and then you could write your notes on the back side if you wanted. So that is which color do you like? Um, and both of these were on a book depository. So thank you, Sarah. The next two books, these were these were uh, sent to me by Rachel Mintz. Sorry, my son's kind of loud. Uh, the Rachel Mintz uh, company. And I did do flips of these on the channel. They sent me Furry Christmas Friends and Elf of Paladin. And um, this one, I, I like all right, but I don't think it's my kind of thing. So um, I might gift this to somebody else. And um, this one, um, yes, I believe these are AI images, but I do want to attempt to color one and see what I how I feel about it after I color it because I do think they're stunning pictures so that's this one and this one and then I um, received a couple books from colored Carmel during Christmas time and these are perfect for well this one is perfect for the um, Valentine's season and this one's just adorable. And this one's the sweetest doodles. And it has little doodle kawaii creatures. And I did a flip on both of these on the channel. And there's this one as well. And this one is very cute. Very fun. So there's those two. And then the last stuff that I received during the holiday season was these two books by a new artist. Um, she sent me Christmas Chibi coloring book and Chibi Girls coloring book. And um, she really wanted to know my opinions on this because she, <laughs> we were talking I told her I love Chibis. And um, she was so thoughtful to send them to me. And I did do full flips, I believe, on the channel of these. So if you want a full flip of these, they're all in my book flips playlist. So there's that one. And then the Christmas Chibi, of course. And you guys know I am all about Chibi. And they're just so cute. And these have duplicates, I, I think. No, these don't have duplicates. So there's a lot of pages in each one of these. These are thick, so yeah. But anyway, these are the Christmas things that I received during the holiday time. I want to thank um, my fellow colorists, colorists that sent me gifts, companies that have sent me things, and also, of course, my subscribers for your support and your love and for sending me such thoughtful gifts during the holidays. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. And I will be back with another video very soon. And it will be um, the supplies video. Uh, if, if I don't do the supplies video first, it's probably because my hand is still hurting a lot. Because I want to be able to test some of it out on a paper for you. And if that's the case, then maybe I'll do the books before the supplies. But yeah, um, you guys have a fabulous day. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, friends. Bye.